I mean, I didn't know the story. I didn't know. I was baffled that I didn't know the story. You know, when I first read uh, read Jeff Nathanson's script uh, based on Glenn Stout's book uh, ten years ago, and it's we've spent ten years making this film, like trying to make it. Um, and I was just baffled because it was such a big event when it happened. Probably in some way changing women's sports forever. And uh, so I felt the responsibility almost. And I wanted to tell this story. I have two daughters. I wanted to tell this story for them and to the daughters of the world, you know. And and, uh, and uh, it had everything I was looking for. You know, it's obviously dramatic, but it has such a great heart. It's, um, it's, it's funny. It's scary. Uh, and, and, but most of all, it, it moves you and it inspires you, you know? So and that's what I'm looking for in any movie. But I want to ask you something because I read uh, on the production notes, obviously, there is an historical setting. But is it true that you kind of made watch your team the, the father just to enter, you know, in the, in the mood? <laughs> Why? I have well, we, I watched, well, we watched Godfather part two because okay. it takes place in New York at the same time as our story took place you know the Robert De Niro part of it you know that's kind of so I wanted it to feel like that you know uh, setting the bar uh, <laughs> very high um, yes yes and, uh, but it's also a social thing you, you bring your crew in and we watch a movie and we're bonding and we're you know we're, dre we're dreaming that we can Uh, come close, you know, um, because we will. We were also recreating New York um, uh, from that area. So, so that was, you know, we also watched Jaws and, you know, uh, the, the, some, you know, uh, Lawrence of Arabia and like, you know, just movies that inspire us. It's, 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 uh, it's not pretentious. It's, it's not. Uh, we're not trying to compare ourselves to, to it or I'm not but and it's just it's, it's just amazing inspiration yeah I would really think I'm Italian just for this but I want to ask you something about the obviously you're not new about water based movies but in this movie I guess the sea is kind of an antagonist at the same time so I want to ask you if it was a new challenge for you yeah so, I think Yeah, and it's it's almost like a little bit of a cliche, you know, that the ocean is a character. But I feel in this story, it very much is. It's it's yeah. it represents uh, her obstacles, basically. You know, it symbolizes the the villain almost. And it was very important for me to shoot it as real as possible out on the ocean. And we were out there, and lucky we had Daisy Ridley. That was all in uh, playing through the Ederlev in the water, you know, day in, day out, in freezing water, six, 15, 16 degrees, her lips blue, and out there channeling through the. And I, some way, I, I think it, it also informed us a little bit of how it, how it could have been, you know, how it was for Trudy. Obviously, we're not out there risking our lives. Um, but I, I, I hope that the audience can feel somehow that we, we tried to make it as real as possible being out there and not, we were not in a, a tank, a heated tank or on blue screen or, you know, we were out there doing it.